Hi everyone, welcome back to our little UK fish room and part two of our fish room tour 2022. Finally. Continuing on with our fish room tour part two 2022, we start with our 310 litres or 68 gallon custom aquarium. This aquarium currently houses our Blue Star Endler colony our giant Colombian ramshorn snails, some yellow caradina shrimp, and a couple of yellow rabbit snails. As you can see, we also have an abundance of the giant Colombian ramshorn snail eggs. This year's plan for this aquarium include a nice 3D background that we shall hopefully be purchasing this month, some hardcore aquascape and possibly some artificial plants as the giant ramshorns are prolific plant eaters. We have a 90 litre or 19.7 gallon custom built aquarium on the top rack in the fish room. This is currently housed in our Pacific Blue Eye Rainbow Fish who are surprisingly doing fantastic after their near death experience during transit to our fish room. We have no plans for changes in this aquarium during 2022 although we will be concentrating on breeding these guys and improving the male to female ratio. To the right of our Pacific Blue Eye Rainbow Fish, we have another 90 litres or 19.7 gallon aquarium. In this aquarium, we have another new addition to our fish room and another Pseudomagill species, and these are called the Popondetta Blue Eye Rainbow Fish. We are pretty taken with this species of Pseudomagill. Although they look relatively similar to the Forktail Blue Eye Rainbow Fish, they are somewhat more attractive in our personal opinion. Again, we don't have any plans for this aquarium this year. However, we will be concentrating immensely on breeding these little gems. Next to the Popendetta Blue Eye Rainbow Fish, we have a holding or quarantine tank of new additions to the fish room. This is also a custom 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium. Inhabitants that are undergoing incarceration include a couple of Pandagara, several neon blue gobies, twenty five green fire tetras, and our previous guppy cross experiment rejects which were a white Moscow guppy cross blue star endler. This aquarium is earmarked for some new pseudomagills once the inhabitants quarantine is over. Next up is another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium and this is a mishmash holding aquarium. This one is currently housing our fireline danios, our glow light danios, our Vietnamese cardinal minnows, some five band barbs, aka pentazona barbs, a Siamese algae eater, a couple of Cambodian log suckers, and a silver flying fox juvenile which mysteriously turned up when we rescaped our main aquarium. We have no plans for this aquarium in 2022, although we are going to take a stab at breeding our five band barbs and possibly our fireline danios. Another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium. We have a small colony of orange neocaridina or pumpkin shrimp in this aquarium. We are hoping to breed these out to create a larger colony in 2022, as they are probably our favourite neocaridina currently in the fish room. We have no immediate plans to change this aquarium, although, as with most of our other aquariums, 
we will possibly be adding a 3D background and some plants. Moving across to another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium. In here we are currently keeping our red cherry shrimp and growing out a new cross we are trying, which is a male mint green black bar endler crossed with female steak endlers. The fry is several weeks old now and we should hopefully be able to show you how this cross turns out in a month or two. On the bottom of our racking unit, we have the first of two large 450 litre or 99 gallon aquariums. This aquarium houses six of our absolutely gorgeous Starlight Bristlenose Plecos, L183. A colony of red really shrimp. Our Ginga Rube Guppies, which will be going back outside after the winter for some summer tubbing fun. This aquarium will be having a slight makeover this year, but excluding the hair algae, overall we are pretty happy with this aquarium. Next we have our colony of El Tigre Endlers, which have really flourished in our fish room. Unfortunately, we didn't get to put these guys outside for summer tubbing last year as we ran out of tubs, but we will be increasing the number of tubs we put out this year so we can definitely get them out there this coming summer. Then we have another 90 litre that has caused us nothing but trouble for the last 12 months. This is our blonde blush guppy colony. Unfortunately, these guppies contracted internal worms from somewhere. Despite treating them multiple times with both Fritz Paracleanse and Fritz Expel P, they still appear thin and lethargic. So this may well be the end of the road for our blonde blush guppy line. Moving down to another one of our 450 litres or 99 gallon aquarium, we have a huge colony of yellow tiger endlers, which have now picked up and are flourishing after some past issues. Because we run sponge filters in most of our aquariums and the mechanical filtration is pretty rubbish, we cycle an internal filter around the fish room to improve the overall water quality, hence why the water in this aquarium looks pretty awful right now. However, in 24 hours, the aquarium water will be clear. We will definitely be revamping this aquarium soon, but we shall be keeping the Tiger Endlers. And that brings us to the end of part two of our Fish Room Tour 2022. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have skipped a couple of aquariums, mainly because up here we have a few guppy cross breeding projects that are almost ready to show you guys and we don't want to spoil that although i'm sure you'd probably love to see them very soon and uh, there's a tank of pop and dead blue eye rainbow fish here extra males that we didn't really want as the ratio of male and female was a bit too high so we will see you in the next one bye thanks for watching as always Again, we don't have any plans for this aquarium this year. However, we will be concerned. <laughs> Some five band barbs, a a. <sighs> Although they look really. Inhabit. <laughs> Another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon. Gallum? <laughs> Another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium. We have a small colony of Neo. Uh, another 90 litre or 19.7 gallon aquarium. We have a small colony of orange Neo Caradina or pumpkin tripping. <laughs> pumpkin. A, a Siamese. God's sake.